Welcome dear students to lecture 2 of module 5 DC Crompton's Potentiometer. We have already discussed in the previous lecture about uh, DC Potentiometer, its types. There are two types. One is Lightwear Potentiometer uh, and second one is DC Crompton's Potentiometer. So this is the circuit of DC Crompton's Potentiometer which is very easy to understand. And it consists of, first I will explain the major parts. It consists of two dial switches. This is one large dial switch. This is small dial switch. And in large dial switch there will be having 15 number of steps. 1, 2, 3, 4. In this way there will be 15 number of steps. Each node represent each step. And each step has 10 ohm resistance. That is resistance of this point particular distance is 10 ohm there will be 15 steps and each step is having 10 ohm resistance so what will be the total resistance of each step 10 into 15 so each will be having 10 ohm so 15 steps are there so 10 into 15 equal to 150 ohm Next you are passing a working current of 10 milliampere using a battery and rheostat. You are passing 10 milliampere current through the circuit. So we know that each step having a resistance of 10 ohm. So what will be the voltage of each step? Resistance into current 10 milliampere into 10 volt that is 0.1 volt. Each step of dial corresponding to 0.1 volt. And how many steps are there? There are mainly 15 steps. So what will be the total voltage of this dial switch? 15 into 1 step voltage is 0.1 volt. So 15 into 0 0.1, 1.5 volt. Or in other words, 10 milliampere into total resistance is 150 ohm. That is 1.5 volt. This dial switch is connected in series with a circular wire. This is also a slide wire. A circular slide wire. And Total resistance of this slide wire is 10 ohm. This is small circular slide wire. It is having a total resistance of 10 ohm. And so what will be the total voltage of the slide wire? 10 ohm into 10 milliampere. Current is 10 milliampere. Total resistance is 10 ohm. So what is the total range of the voltage? That is 10 ohm into 10 milliampere. That is 0 0.1 volt. 0.1 volt is the total range of this small slide wire and 1.5 volt is the range of this large dial switch. And this small circular slide wire is having how many divisions? This is divided into 20 small divisions. So what will be the voltage of each small divisions? Total voltage is 0.1. This is, sorry, not 20, 200. 0.1 divided by 200. So what is the value? 0.005 volt. That is the, the voltage of each small division in the circular wire. So altogether we will be having a battery and rheostat in order to provide a 10 milliampere working current. Then we'll, there will be two dial switches. First dial switch is having 15 division. Second is having 200 division. And total resistance of first dial switch is 150 ohm. Here it is 10 ohm. Total voltage of first switch is 1.5 volt. Here it is 0.1 volt. Okay. And the scale of each switch is, of each division is 0.1 volt for large switch. And here it is 0 0.0005 volt work for the circular wire. Again in the second side it is connected to a galvanometer through a switch key through uh, to the switch S. This is a two way switch. We are connecting the dial switch. These two dial switches are connected through a galvanometer to a key through a resistance to the two way switch. And this two way switch can toggle between two positions. One is calibrate position. This already said position is calibrate position. Second one is operate position. There are two positions. If you are putting S in calibrate position, then standard cell will be connected. Standard cell is cell having known value of EMF. And the purpose of putting it in calibrate position is to standardization. That we will discuss. 
and second is in operate position if we put this in operate position we can able to find the unknown emf okay so this is the major parts of a compton's potentiometer next we can see is the first procedure so you know, before finding the unknown emf we have to do standardization of this potentiometer standardization means comparing the output of potentiometer with a known value of emf to check whether the result is matching if it is not matching you have to adjust the rheostat or key dial position in order to get the correct value standard emf in this switch so at first the combination of dial switch and slide wire is set to standard cell voltage so this is the standard cell we are setting this voltage or we are selecting the standard cell voltage as 1.015 volt let this be the standard cell voltage and you have to obtain this voltage in the potentiometer that is the calibration so 1.0175 can be split as 1 volt and 0.17 volt okay and this 1 volt you are setting in large dial switch each volt will be 0.1 volt so you can set 1 2 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 in this way somewhere here will be your 1 volt so set this dial large dial switch in 1 volt and a small dial switch what is the division of voltage per division of the small dial switch 0.1 by 200 that is 0.005 so somewhere here will be your 0.0175 you set these two value here next you have to put the switch in calibrate in order for standardization you have to put this in calibrate position and close this key check whether galvanometer shows zero deflection if it is not showing zero deflection then adjust the rheostat to show to get the zero deflection or you can adjust this protective resistance also if this is rheostat you can adjust this resistance also in order to make this galvanometer shows zero deflection once it shows zero deflection then we can say that the standardization process is completed that is the standard cell emf is here is 1.0175 and you can able to see the same voltage using this dial one here and 0 0.0175 here galvanometer shows zero deflection means this voltage and this voltage is same so we are calibrated this potentiometer next is the procedure for finding unknown emf in order to find the unknown emf you have to op put the switch in operate position that is you have to connect here so this is the position operate position ok so you are throwing this switch to operate position this is connected to the operate position so after completion of the standardization switches is thrown to the operate position thereby connecting the unknown emf so when you are connecting the operate position unknown emf is connected across this dial switch okay next what you have to do you have to adjust this rheostat in order to make this key is already closed adjust this rheostat in order to make uh, sorry adjust this dial switch once you connect the unknown emf with the circuit adjust the dial switch such that galvanometer shows zero deflection you can adjust this switch and this circular slide wire such that at a particular point this galvanometer shows zero deflection in order to get the proper adjustment you have to use this rheostat also for final adjustment and that voltage the voltage corresponding that or corresponding to the uh, dial switch reading will be the unknown emf voltage suppose the voltage 1.3 here and here it is 0 0.002 0 0.0002 then the voltage will be 1.3002 okay this will be the decimal point and this will be the uh, numerical value constant value 1.3 3 here and some small voltage here so add these two value this voltage will be the unknown emf of the circuit